Today's videos is all about searching with keywords using in case. Keywords are text, strings, or search expression created to find matching text within the evidence file. In today video, as previous video, we use a data leakage case, data leakage case, and this is the scenario. And first task you need to do is to create a list of keywords from this scenario, from this scenario. For myself, I have created my own list from this scenario, like secret, leak, leakage, sensitive, uh, confidentiality, integrity, property, uh, IMAN, informant, offer, and so on. This is my list of keywords that I managed to gather from this scenario or case brief if you work with law enforcement. Second, let's start create our keyword search. To do this, within case, after you load your evidence, let's say this is my, um, let me find the evidence, you browse your evidence. I can add more evidence. Let me add more evidence. Um, add evidence, add evidence file. I have it stored here. This is the removable media one. The USB. This is the second, third evidence, which is another USB. And this is the fourth evidence, which is uh, maybe the CD, okay? Maybe the CD. Now we have the trio evidence or four evidence files. You need to click on all of them. Now hit open. Make sure you select all of your evidence files, all of the evidence file, the BC, USB, the other USB, and the CD. Okay, all of them. Now to start keyword search, go to row search, selected, new row search, select that one. And there's different options that you can discover by going to help section with an in case and they explain each of these options which i'm not going through them because to save the time of the youtube video you can go to to start adding your um, keyword list you can add keyword list and copy and paste your list that you created from the case scenario or case brief there's different options the powerful thing within case you can use grip expression where you can for a specific strength values like emails credit card debit card urls or different string that require different settings also you can search on whole word or case sensitive by default in case we'll look into case sensitive uh, we'll look into capital and small letter uh, it's the same okay and also the Unicode, make sure you select Unicode, especially if you use different language, not just English. Make sure you use Unicode because Unicode will use two bytes to store one character, different than ASCII. And hit OK, and you can still change some options. I will change where I'm saving uh, my files rather than OneDrive. I will go and select it in, let's say, C drive, okay to avoid an issue and hit okay okay and you need to wait a couple of minutes till the search is completed you always can view the progress in the bottom 
of the screen. What we can see here after a couple of minutes, it's still searching. And till now, it's 500,000, I think, uh, hits and 600,000 hits. And I will wait a couple of minutes till it finish and then um, we will view the keywords hits. Now after it finished it will open straight away for us the keywords hits. Here is it the keywords bit. But imagine it's not open. I will close it. You can go to view and go to keyword hits. Once you are with the keyword hits, these are the items that keyword search managed to find for the secret, leak, and so on. Okay, a number of hits, but for the secret, there is 1582 items that in case managed to find. Double click on it. Yeah, double click and here is the files and folders that in case managed to find and straight away you can see there is a secret project design concept dot ppt that mean not a word document it's a um, powerpoint uh, file if we click on it because there's the word secret on the title and there's a secret inside okay if you click on it and you click on document and you wait a couple of seconds you can view the document here's the document the powerpoint uh, document okay this is the powerpoint document you can bookmark it you can export it you can do whatever with it to find the location you you can go to the right side last time access last time uh, modified when it was written all of this information is here but I'm looking where I can find this file exactly you will find it on uh, the removable media number one that means the USB uh, number one and this is the location okay and this is the location also if you go to secret project data this folder was deleted because you can find the red spot here okay this was deleted and recovered by in case double click on it here is the folder it's somewhere here the secret project data within the company USB double click on it uh, there is nothing but if you go to uh, uh, removable media one you'll find the same uh, folder and this is the proposal okay and these are the proposal um, now it's document okay it's a word document and let me try to click if and this is a word document different than the previous uh, document okay that means using keyword search you can manage to uh, process your investigation very quick based on a couple of keywords from the case scenario or the case brief that you get there's many other ways to do that and there is another way is indexing which is very fast i will explain that in the next couple of video i hope you enjoyed this uh, video make sure to subscribe to this channel to make sure you receive up-to-date videos that i will publish on in case another cybersecurity and digital forensic um, topics thank you very much